What's up guys, this is World Thrift Live. Uh, you know what time it is, it's 5 p.m. We're actually, today we're doing multiple segments. We're doing one uh, right now at five and then we're doing one uh, at 8 p.m. today. Um, so, uh, right now we're about to have Golden Bear Garage hop on um, and we're gonna have him talk about his space and he's actually doing a giveaway. So if you follow him and you checked his posts, uh, he put out a code, so whoever comments that code first uh, gets the giveaway. Uh, so we're going to have him hop out in just a second. Yeah, thank you everybody for uh, joining us today. I'm Nick Fanning, this is El Sonner, and we are World Thrift. Uh, we're excited to uh, talk to you all today. Again, we try to uh, bring the thrifting community a little closer together by having uh, these live podcasts. And so it's just a, a lot of fun. Um, we're here in our, uh, I guess, a little studio that we have, recording studio. We've got some World Thrift t-shirts. So if any of y'all find World t-shirts, definitely DM us. We are looking, we're always looking to buy those World t-shirts. As you can see, we've got quite the collection in the back. Again, just DM us, hey, I've got this cool world tea, uh, and most likely we will buy that right from under you. Um, but uh, thank you for everybody for joining us. So yesterday, yesterday was Halloween. Um, I have my mustache. I was Freddie Mercury. Nick Fanning was a stock guy at Lowe's. So comment below. Tell us uh, what your Halloween costume was. We'd love to hear it. And uh, now it's November 1st, so we all officially know that it is now the Christmas season. Uh, so start playing your Christmas music. Okay, finally, cool. Go, uh, Golden Bear Garage, here we go. All right, my man, let's get you on. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? What's going on? What's up, dude? How are you? What's good, man? Can, can you hear us? Sometimes? Can you hear me? Yeah, sometimes it takes a minute for the sound. Ah, you're very loud. Hold on. Hold on one second. Yeah, oh, you're good. Yeah, I, uh, this is weird. I never did like a duo video or I don't know how this shit works. I'm an old yeah. head, so I don't know how this shit works. Looks sad. Can, can you hear us okay? I can hear you a little bit. Let me let me try to turn my phone up. Hold on. Oh, damn. Let me, uh... What's that? A couple people are already dropping that comment. Let me see who the first one is. Hold on. Okay. A Ayo sense. Uh, I think that's who it was. Huh. Yeah, Ayo sense. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I got my I got my volume turned all the way up, but I don't know why. It's I can hear you, but you're like very faint. Okay, we'll try to talk loud. We'll try to talk pretty loud. Uh, so one person uh, threw out the, um, the the key word, the secret word, uh, Ayo sense. Oh yeah, Ayo, <laughs> F town. That's a, that's my uh, that's my hometown. Okay, nice. In Philly. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I just popped it back to him. I told him he got it. I I'll just stand. I'll just sit close. Yeah, same. But uh, as you could as you could see. This is what I'm working with in Philly back here. Okay. Spin you around. We got tons of shit, but uh, yeah, I'm interested in seeing like what's cool out in Florida and like what gets you guys uh, excited and shit like that, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, so real quick, kind of just tell us about, uh, just give us uh, an intro real quick, just like your name, age, and then you said you're located in Philly, right? Yeah. Is that where you're from originally? What's that? Is that where you're from originally? I'm from, yeah, I, I born and raised, yeah, my whole life. Okay, cool. And then uh, just tell, yeah, just tell us your, your name and age, if you don't mind. My name, <coughs> my name is Billy, and I'm old enough to be both of your dads. Okay. <laughs> my, dad's, my dad's 76. Nah, I'm 40. Okay, 40. okay. Right. Yeah, I'm 40. My, my oldest sister's like 38, so you're like. All right, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, 26 and 25. Yeah. All right, young box, but uh, seems like you get it. Yeah, yeah. We're, definitely we're... get the vintage thing. Yeah, we're trying. Um, got the bros. He got the little little Movember stash going. I see. Uh, well, well now, now yeah, now Halloween. it's that. And then last night I was telling everyone I was uh, Freddie Mercury last night for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> worked out really well actually. I got this one. This is my mustache. There you go. That <laughs> nice. That's sick. <laughs> I just kept it handy. Right. Right. Um. So real quick, kind of just tell us how you, how you got started and then about your brand. 
Um, how I got started was um just being a kid, like in that fresh shit that nobody had right. back in the day. Like I wanted the shit that that nobody had. I was getting like dolphin shit when everybody was getting eagle shit. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And uh, plus being in Philly, like the culture down here is like crazy. It's so like diverse. You know what I mean? You got like street. You got your hipsters. You got your punk. Your skaters. There's so much shit. It's like crazy. Like different styles down here. Yeah. I enjoyed, I mean, I was only there for a very short period of time, just for like a weekend, but I enjoyed Philly because I, I went to Philly and then took the, a bolt bus. The, a bolt bus to New York and went uh -huh. with friends there. And I just enjoyed going, when I went back to Philly, it was just like a nice breather because it was like still the yeah. big city. There's still, like you're saying, everything to do. There's all the different cultures, but it's just not so much of it. It's not to the overwhelming point. So. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like it's spread out. Like there's different Philly. pockets of Philly that are like, but I mean, getting back into it, a lot of, a lot of guys don't consider uh, like Mitchell and Ness vintage. Me, myself, I do because I'm from Philly. Yeah. And, like, Mitchell and Ness was the ones that brought all that shit back right. in the 90s, the jerseys, the hats. But, you know, I was the kid going eight years old getting a 1930 Phillies hat. I'm eight. This is 1985, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that's pretty much the same shit I'm doing now. It's just like this. Nobody's really rocking the Zubaz Barkley, you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, I love Zubaz because nobody's really rocking it. Yeah. So I try to, like, set myself. I don't follow trends too much. Uh-huh. So, yeah, is there like, okay, so you're, is there like any super unique pieces you could kind of show us real quick? What's that? Is there any like super un unique pieces you have on hand that you could kind of show us? Real uh, quick? which one? Pick, <laughs> I got so many. Hold on. Just that, hold yeah. on. I always, I always say to my people, hold on, bear with me. Okay. Get it, Golden Bear Garage. I got this. Oh, that's sick. Is that a starters? Nobody's nobody's really got the black. Everybody's got the white and the green. Right. The yeah. black is like crazy. That's sick. Nobody's got black. Like I said, I try to get like just like cool like shit like this. Damn, Damn that's those. sick. Like I said, it's mainly like I I'm big on the sports. Yeah. So but I I mean I do have other shit. Hold on, I'll show you in a minute. Darian, what's up, bud? Like this, I just got this. This is pretty oh, crazy. Wow, that is fucking. Little Boston guy. Uh, hold on, let's see. Uh, this is one of my craziest pieces of all time. It weighs like seven hundred fucking pounds. This jacket. Right. Look at it. Damn. What is that? Oh, what is LA. That? It's an all leather Jeff Hamilton. Fucking thing is crazy. Damn, that Look is. It. Per this is purple. Yeah, it's like Jeff Hamilton. You guys know who Jeff Hamilton is, right? I do not. No? Oh, my God. He's a beast. He's like the OG of, uh, like, um, he used to make jackets for Jordan, Tyson, okay. uh, Michael Jackson. He would customize leather jackets for everybody. Yeah. He's Dave, a fucking Dave monster. Again, that, huh? Jeff Hamilton. Okay, cool. Jeff he's Hamilton, yeah. He's a beast. That, cool. He's, it's like weird. He's like some kind of like French dude. I got a cell number, and he's like, "Hey, Golden Bear, make you jacket. What's up, buddy? He's fucking nuts." That's awesome. But, uh, what do you got? What do you guys like? Uh, he's into this shit. Yeah, tell so, I me. Mean, this, saying, this is what everybody's into. The see. whole. Oh, the Tommy. Oh, the Tommy. Yeah. Old Tommy. Honestly, we're into a little bit of everything, yeah, we, you know? We, we try to have, like, a, a diverse range of stuff. Like, I was talking to a buddy of mine last night, and he was, like, I, I literally saw him out, and he's like, bro, man, I love y'all shop. He's like, uh, he, and he reminded me of, like, he got, like, a Moschino shirt from us. And, like, yeah. that, just right there, like, I just feel like we, we try to have, like, a little bit of everything, you know? And uh, we even have, like, super, you know, like, we have $5 t-shirt bins that you can come in and, like, stock up on those we'll do like even like uh you know five for 20 sometimes we have ten dollar t-shirt band have... i'm gonna take this off this stupid uh tripod or whatever okay yeah thanks pretty stupid yeah it's out but uh but we, we... yeah man i'm the same way i try to uh i mix it up like i love hipster shit i just like like uh i'll show you these these are crazy 
OG Mikey oh, Cortez, yeah. like leather guys. They're like camel color. Are those? Oh, are those fucking things are crazy. Are those like a Cortez? I don't really fuck with sneaks too much, just because there's too many gangsters and everybody's out to sell you like fake shit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't really know too much. I don't <laughs> really care. Higher investment, too. That's what we always tell people. Cause we, What's we, that? We, it's a higher investment, you know? Um, yeah, it's like, too. Like, I don't want to spend 300 hours and right. sit on a pair of sneakers for like a year. Like, you know, or even, like, 120 on, like, a pair of sneakers. But I like shit like this, too, though. It, Hold right. on. But, yeah. <clears throat> like, just weird shit like this. All loud and obnoxious. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like unique, vintage. unique vintage. Yeah. 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 I just like different. Like, it's I don't cool. like following a trend. I don't like, I don't want all over NASCAR print stuff. And it's so like, all these hypebeast kids are, like, it's cool that they're into it and all, but they all want the same shit, and they get mad when I'm when I tell them, uh, yeah, that lighting looks bad. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, they get all mad when I tell them like. Sorry, I don't have uh, 700 Dale Earnhardt shirts. and Right, right. <laughs> I try to be as nice as I can. Is NASCAR a big thing in Philly? No, fuck no. It's like, so no. You got to – no, definitely not. I wouldn't think it is. It's probably like hardly anybody. Like, the kids wear it. But if you asked them who the guy was, they wouldn't know. Yeah. They wouldn't know at all. I know. I can't. So t tell us a little bit more about – Brand. What's that? Tell us a little bit more about your brand. Let me try to uh, let me try to put you back on the the uh, tripod. My wife said all that's on there is my head. <laughs> like I said, I'm like very amateur, and I don't really give two shits because I kind of like let the collection speak for itself. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. You've got a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I mean, uh. Like I said, we're getting better. We're getting better every day, man. I got a partner, but he's like, uh, he's real behind the scenes and low key. He don't like. He's not flashy. He don't like the camera and shit. So, right, right. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. What shirt do you have on right now? That's pretty cool. This one. This is Iverson. Oh, okay. That's dope. That's, Mitch, that's Mitchell and Ness. Nice. That's what I mean. Mitchell and Ness gets like a bad, like a weird vibe. Like, if you're not from Philly, people are like, that's not vintage. And No, I mean, I, I always hear that. Uh, people down here talk, talk about it. And then, uh, like, a lot of the people I watch online that do, like, trips to the threads on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, they, I mean, they they make cool stuff. shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like, just to show you, uh, like, some hats. Just some of the hats they make, like. Like some quilted shit. Look, like that shit's crazy. That is good. Like some OPP shit. What is that? Uh, and you get like the uh, like the wash stone wash denim. Okay. With like yeah. the leather, like the dad hat with the leather strap. Like that shit's crazy. Yeah. I don't care where it's from. That looks crazy. Uh, then you get. <laughs> like just shit like this with like clouds and shit on it. Like. Spaceships for the rockets. Yeah, it's like their shit's quality, man. Yeah, right, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, just some stuff. Would you say that that. So you guys want to see anything? Would you say? That, interested in seeing anything else? Yeah, for sure. Would you say that? Say, uh, would you say they're your favorite brand? You know, I like you guys. I get, I miss Taco Taco Dollar Taco Night today. Really? <laughs> just to do the video. My wife didn't believe me. She's like, right. what, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I have to Uber Eats it to the house. Right. Uh, to see my phone? That's pretty dope, huh? Take it I did a video the other day with the phone. Football. Yeah, it was pretty funny. What's up? We got the Eagles on the other side. What's up? Yeah, yeah. My son says my quality's terrible. I don't know. Is it? The what? The quality. How do you how, how do you clean up your quality on one of these videos? It's it's just we like use, it's an iPad. Oh, is it? Okay. Also, that's another. That's the two things we say is make sure you're on uh, Wi-Fi, and then also we 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 just use our iPad. Ah, uh, okay. 
So that might be the other thing. That'll work. Okay. You into shit like this? Hold on. Ooh. I'm gonna die in this. I'm gonna die in this garage one day just from falling and get avalanched on dented shit. This is some shit I've been doing myself. With the little patchwork, like the Nike. Oh, that's that's your own brand. Just the Nike guy. But yeah, I've been I've been trying to customize my own shit. Right. Trying to venture in that way. Rework, like reworking the vintage. Yeah, just take some vintage and put your patch on and call right. it your own. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Exactly. We had a similar idea. Uh, you take uh, the you know the single sitch just blank t shirts and we want a screen press. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you need that uh, DTG though machine. They're like some cheese. Yeah. The direct the garment. Right. Yeah, they're, I was looking into that myself, but uh. So uh, tell me something about you guys. You guys are in what Florida? Yeah, we're in St. Petersburg, Florida, so Tampa Bay area. Oh, okay. I just got this today. Look at that. It's funny you say that. Hold on. Oh, oh my sick. God. What, just, si yeah. Hold one what, si what size is that? Uh huh. What size is that? Ah, it's a 2X. That ain't going, it won't fit. It yeah. won't. No, that did. No. What was yours? A large? Mine was a large. Yeah. I, I literally sold mine, you know? And, did you? Yeah, I've been looking for another one, and that looked like it was clean. Uh, all my all the all the all my starters are very clean. Yeah. I don't like selling shit, but like, I try to get real, real good quality button. Yeah, because the buttons make the jacket. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. So that's very true. That's such a Tampa. Cool so what teams do you? What, what do you like? All the Florida teams? You like a Buccaneers guy or? I'm not. I don't really like. He's the sports guy. I don't yeah. really like sports too much. So it's it's uh it's Bucks. It's the Rays. It's the Magic. And then. And of course, it's uh, the Florida Gators. Guess where I went to school? I got a nice Gator stuff. I got a nice Gators. Hold on. You really? I, I might be interested. I might be interested. Oh, what size is that? Yeah. Get that. That's a medium, though. Oh, that's going to be too small. And then I got this one. Any large. If you got a large, that's my size. If anybody that's watching, if you got a large Gators, take a photo of it. DM us. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That looks like it's the old pullovers. That looks like it's big. Yeah, the old Florida pullovers. I don't know if you could even wear this out, out there, could you? No. Why so fucking hot? But we we travel a lot. I have gear. Ah, all right. Should travel down Philly. Come see the Golden Bear. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. Hey, yo, Sense, uh, DM us. DM us a photo of that uh, that crew neck. Uh, so, hey, yo, Sense, I guess, had a, a Gators uh, Looney Tunes crew neck uh, in my size. Uh, I, I know Mike. You know, I, I know the guy Mike. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he's got he's got nice stuff. That's my guy. Yeah, hook up with him. That's absolutely. Get your size. D DM us a photo, Mike, uh, at AO Sensors. DM us a photo at World Thrift. All right. Um. So how did you guys? You guys have a brick and mortar? Not yet. Uh, so we've been primarily selling online. We do pop-ups, and of course, we retail out of a couple of places downtown St. Petersburg. So. Yeah, so we have like a couple shared spaces right now, but we're looking into like a, a warehouse right now to potentially move into in um, in like um, in May, in probably like May or June. Oh, uh, okay, nice. Yeah, unfortunately for me, like I can sign it. Well, I used to consign at two shops. Now I do it one to one closed, but uh, yeah, the rent's so expensive in Philly, man. It's like four four grand for like a shoebox. It's insane. 
Yeah. It's too much. You got to be selling something else out the back door to make a living. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of wild. It's so funny. Um, so with all this, what are like some of your uh, short-term and long-term goals? What's that? What with like everything? What are your uh, like short-term and long-term goals? Like, do you eventually want to get like uh, your own space as well? Or uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna have a spot spot soon. I, don't, I just don't know when and where. Right now, it's like no overhead, but dude, my inventory is like busting at the seams. Like, I don't even care. I I can't resist. Like, if something's hot, I'm gonna buy it. I don't care. I'll sell, I'll sit on it for a year and sell it. I don't really give a fuck. Because right. you may not find it again. No, it, it's it's like that FOMO. Did you ever hear of FOMO disorder? Yeah. Missing out. Yeah. I, that's me. Like, I just have to. I'm like, ah, I got to get it. Right. Because with, with, this, with this stuff, you might never see it pop up again. You're like, fuck, I should have grabbed it. Right. Yeah. That's how I am. But then I'll get a text message from him saying we got uh – Stop. We gotta, yeah, cool we gotta, it. we gotta put a hold on the buying for a minute. Uh, I know. I need the list. I need to, I need to almost hire someone to list because it would take me, dude. It would probably take me two years to list all the shit I have. No lie. I swear to God, it's insane. Wow, wow. It's I insane. I'll, here, I'll spin you around. And show, give you like a virtual tour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Ready? This is just like a, this is just like a hockey put shit on but uh some t-shirts like just random t-shirts cool like all over stuff oh yeah uh down here well, this is our starter collection here we got about 70 80 of those yeah. uh, then here's all hats all in bins Pick these up uh up here it's all jackets over here is all sweatshirts, vintage sweatshirts, college, yeah. pro, like hipster. These are all 80 sweatshirts. Then we got the, all your gangster, Polo, Tommy, Nordica, uh, and like random shit, like some, some shit like that. Hey, uh, those Grateful Dead shirts? That's what I mean. Dude, I got like bags of shit. I, don't even, I forget. Like, it's like, uh, what's in this bag? It's like, oh shit! Check these. <laughs> these are crazy. I forget what I have. have. Can you just can like you sell those grateful polo bags. bags? You guys sell those? Yeah. Polo bags. Everybody likes those. Yeah, those ones you you find all the time. Uh, I forget what's in here half the time. Like Jimmy Buffett. Uh, yeah. 1989, Phillies. Just, just random shit. Like I said, it's just fucking endless. I'm up here is like Nike, Adidas. And then down here, you got new items. <laughs> <laughs> windbreakers. You guys sell windbreakers? We got tons of those. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. yeah, and this is, like I said, this is... uh. It's one of our spots. We have two other spots, storage spots. Okay. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I can't. Just addicted to vintage, man. I can't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> St. Peter's. Uh, you said St. Petersburg, right? Yeah, St. Petersburg. You ever uh, been down in uh, I have not. I was just in Clearwater for spring training in, in March. Right. That's yeah. right by us. Yeah. Yeah, that's like twenty minutes away. What's the vibe, what's the vintage vibe down here? Are you guys? Uh, I would say down here the people are really in, like. Are, are, do you, are you familiar with uh, like Tom Witherspoon? Oh God, who isn't? Everybody. Okay. That's like everybody's idol. So so since it's really hot down here. Everyone's really into like uh, wearing like, cool like Nike athletic shorts that people are wearing, or something. Really? Like that. Uh, Adidas, is it any kind of just cool like lightweight athletic shorts? It's then some kind of uh, you know t-shirt, 
you know, cool, t-shirts, cool little hit, uh, band tees. I don't know. Probably the t-shirt probably like the yeah. most important thing next to sneakers down here, just cause that's, that's the only place you can really shine. So you have to have like a dope tee and then you have to have dope sneakers. The shorts kind of just have to be lightweight and go with it. And then maybe accessories. People are real into hats down yeah. here. Yeah. Watches, Sunglasses. chains, jewelry, really? <laughs> all that stuff, so. That gangster shit. Look at these shorts I just got. Wow. What, what are those? those are, oh, are those Fila? Yeah, those are sick. Yeah, these are like, I just picked them up. At a vintage way. flea market yesterday, or uh, they're so small, too. They were like, you put these on, your nuts would be hanging out of these things. They're crazy, though. Someone will, someone will buy them eventually, but, dude, they're, they're so crazy. Sell them to uh, OG uh, Luke from uh, on 2. He's really into the short shorts. Yeah, he'd be yeah. into them, dude. Dude, they're and they're like from Italy. They're the OG from Italy, Fila. Yeah. What size are they? Waist. What's that? What size is the waist? Oh my god. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know who would put these on. They're elastic, so I mean, I guess that helps a little. Get your one leg in there. Uh, let me see. Hold on. I might wear them. Dude, you could you could pull that Freddie Mercury off with these fucking shorts, dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah, hey, dude. Ah. Uh, uh, hold on, it's like so old. The tags like all crumbled. Let's see. I think it said like a size six or something. Wow, that's so. Is Definitely like it's like a U. Hold on. I think they're like a six, but translate to like a schmedium. Right. They're like a schmedium. Right. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you you've got a lot of vintage stuff, and you you you. I guess you could say you shop on emotion, right? Have you ever sold anything that you wish you could buy back or you wish you didn't sell? Uh, there was one. <laughs> yeah. uh, 